Hello, this is the snowy window scene tutorial. We will be using titanium white, Mars black, and neutral gray number five. You can also use glazing liquid if to thin out the paints or just water. We will be using a ruler, a number eight round brush, a number five angle, a number two liner or script brush, and a very fine detail brush. As you can see, I have painted the background a very pale gray. To achieve this, I mixed the neutral gray with some titanium white and just covered the whole background. Next, you will mix a slightly darker shade using the neutral gray and titanium white and taking your liner brush, you're going to begin drawing trees. Watch how I do the brush strokes in this video to see how to make the trunks and branches. Please note that I am a little bit all over the place in this video. I go from light to dark and back to light again. That's because I was painting this on the fly instead of painting it in advance and practicing it. I've learned my lesson. In the painting, the lighter trees will be in the back to show distance, and the closer to the front or the foreground, the trees will be darker. We are starting with a light gray mixed with titanium white, and we will then use plain neutral gray, and then finally adding a little bit of Mars black. The closest trees will be fully Mars black. I'm going to let you see here how I do a few of these trees, the details and everything. Don't use a lot of pressure with the brush. Keep loading up with paint as needed and thin out with glazing medium as you go as needed. To use the glazing medium, you just mix a tiny bit with your paint, or you can just dip your brush in the glazing medium before adding more paint to it, whatever works best for you. Use the very tip of your brush. You can see I'm applying very little pressure. If you apply too much pressure, the bristles will spread out and you will have a thicker branch with not much shape. Just use the very, 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 very tip. So I'm going to let this go at normal speed here for a minute so you can see really the details for each brush. And then I'm going to speed it up so that um, you can see, you don't have to sit here and stare at the whole process if you are just watching this through. You can always pause if you need to, or fast forward, rewind, whatever you need to do for the video.
I do apologize, I lost about five minutes of video here, so you missed out on some of the far off back trees, but you can see I just did several very thin ones using that light gray color. Now I've added a little bit of Mars black to it to um, make it a little bit darker. And now I'm adding a bit more pressure. If you can see as I'm going down to make the trunks, I'm putting a little bit more pressure to make it a little thicker. That'll make it appear as though those trees are slightly closer. You can see I've done a couple of those um, in the lighter gray there too. Those would signify further trees that happen to be thicker. For these closer trees that have the thicker uh, trunks, you still want to use very little pressure when doing the branches. So pressure for the trunk to make it thicker and then very little pressure to make the branches just using the very tip. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to the angle brush. You can also use a flat brush or a filbert brush, and you're gonna use it um, with the brush vertically, and then you're gonna push down to make the thicker trunks. You will continue to do that um, and make the trunks wider and wider the closer you get to the front of the painting, and then you can start branches with that same brush or switch over as I will be doing and use using the liner brush again to make your branches. You can see here I'm applying quite a bit of pressure and going over it a couple times to make it a very thick trunk. You can go back to using the liner brush if you see some spaces where you want to add some more uh, smaller trees um, or some brush at the bottom if you prefer. Keep in mind that the window frame at the end is going to cover up most of this work, um, but sometimes there are some baby trees in the front or in between big trees that you do want to add a little bit of finer detail to. Okay, I lost some more video, but you can see I just came back in and did some more um, detailing in here with the branches. You'll see some thicker branches on the ones that are up towards the front, um, but really most of the detail is done with that thin brush. Um, but this is really up to you. Nature isn't perfect, so your picture doesn't have to be perfect. Do it as you want it. Fewer branches. Um, if you don't like how your branches look, you can throw some leaves in there. This is up to you. Um, just have fun with the process and um, this is actually quite relaxing so don't stress over it just take your time and uh, and have fun and you'll see here this is where I was talking about adding the little bit of um, baby trees in the front I'm just adding some detail again with that liner brush uh, very very faintly pushing with just the tip of the brush and um, again as a reminder you can use your glazing medium or water to thin out your paint it makes it a little bit easier to get these finer details the only time I did not use the glazing medium is for anything that is thicker on here
and here I am just filling in again wherever I see there's some space that could probably use some more detail. Um, you'll notice though as I'm going through some of the trees in the background I'm just doing the trunks and not worrying too much about the um, details of the branches because things in the background you won't see as much detail. Um, like I said in the beginning of this video, I uh, was kind of all over the place using, you know, starting with the light trees and bouncing back and forth between dark and light. Um, you're going to do that sometimes. Um, if you really pre-plan it and sketch it out in your head, you can figure out how many light trees you want and where you want to place them. Um, you know, like I said, if I had painted this ahead of time, I would have probably been able to figure that out, but uh, since I was painting on the fly, <laughs> you get to see my whole creative process here. Um, I will do better next time. Here I am adding some more details to some of the front trees, branches here and there. I wanted to make a little note about the very wide, what appears to be a trunk on the left side. Um, that was actually a whoopsie on my part. Um, it was intended to be a big uh, tr uh, trunk, but then I realized that I also need to do the frame of the window, so that is going to be turning into the left frame of the window. Um, so bear with me here. <coughs> Excuse me on this, um, and I will get to further details on that shortly. You can ignore this with the white paint on the um, the filbert brush here. I was trying to be creative with it and then realized that the window frame is going to be covering the ground part, so um, just ignore that. I, I do apologize. Okay, so after my flub with the uh, white and attempting to put snowy mist, um, I realized, as I said, they frame, so now I've switched over to the angle brush, and I'm just doing the frame. You can freehand it like this, or as you can see in just a moment, I'm going to grab my ruler or any straight edge will work, um, and you can use that so that you can make sure that your edge is perfectly uh, level and flat. This is just Mars Black on the brush. Excuse me. So um, 
You can be as careful as you want. This really is abstract, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I did want a crisp line, um, so that is why I got the straight edge there. Anytime you pick up your straight edge, whether it be um, a ruler or um, something else, you're going to want to clean off the edge so that you don't leave any uh, random paint splotches on the rest of the painting. So now you see I've moved the ruler to a vertical position and moved it to the right side of the canvas. This is so that I can do the right side of the window frame, again just in Mars Black. Um, and the straight edge is not necessary, it is just if you want that crisp line, you can freehand any of these lines as we go. I lost some more of my video here. I do apologize. I'm not sure what's going on with my camera, but um, you just repeat the process for the um, top frame and also right in the middle where you would have your middle bar on the window. And now you can see what I'm doing is I'm kind of measuring out my window here so that I can break it down into equal thirds. And again, just using the straight edge. It doesn't have to be perfectly equal, but just to get an idea, um, you will take your angled brush with Mars Black and use your straight edge to create the vertical uh, I think, I don't, I'm not sure what they're called, they'd be the pieces of wood that would be around each piece of glass in the window. Right now I'm just going in and cleaning up any lines that may have gotten messed up because there was too much paint on my brush or not enough paint on my brush or um, whatever the case may be. Because of the fact that I'm using a canvas sheet um, and it's it's got a lot of texture to it, um, you can see I'm having to go back with the liner brush and just clean up the edges. Um, if you're using a regular canvas or something with a smoother surface, you won't have that problem. I was just having a tough time <laughs> the night that I painted this. Once you're done cleaning up any lines that you have, you can go ahead and rinse all of the uh, black out of your detail brush and you're going to grab your round brush and load it up with your titanium white. We are going to start painting in the snow that's sitting on the, uh, the wood of the window. So you can see I'm moving kind of in a dotting pattern, um, just little quick bursts. This is because if you look at the window, <clears throat> excuse me, during a snowstorm, if what a snow is piling up, it's not in a really straight pattern. It just kind of looks lumpy and you can see texture to it. So I'm just dotting. Um, we will be doing two layers of this um, because this titanium white, you know, you can kind of see the black through it still but uh, just keep going over the dotting motion like that. 
we'll do the corners and it will connect a little bit in the middle. We will repeat this process for all of the, the pieces of glass. As you can see, I lost my video again, but I went ahead in and filled in all the white in um, each of the pieces of glass. And um, I, I believe I've already done the second coat at this point. Now you're going to rinse the uh, white out of your brush, and then you're going to mix a little bit of gray number five, neutral gray number five, and titanium white, and use quite a bit of the mix glazing medium or water to thin it out and you're just going to dot in some little shadows here and there just to kind of show some texture on the snow. For this next part, you're going to want to clean out your brush really, really well. I'm still using the round brush, and you are going to mix titanium white with quite a bit of um, the glazing medium or water. What you're doing right now is just creating kind of a frost effect on the tops of the windows, just very, very lightly going in and around the top corners of each of the pieces of glass in the window. You can see it's very, very faint. Just gives you that little bit of a frost and white misty kind of tone. Okay, another missing chunk of, of painting, but uh, what I did here is just take the tip of the round brush, the pointy end there, and dip it in the um, titanium white and glaze mixture. And as you can see right now, I'm just dotting little snow effects all over the windows. That'll be the falling snowflakes out outside. And just continue to dot until you're happy with how much snow there is. Um, you can see on some of the branches I've got some piles of snow. You just do that by dotting just like you did on the window um, the window frame. The um, pardon me, piles of snow on the window flame frame you do the same thing on the branches. Just a small pile of snow here and there using the dotting motion. Okay, so the next step is going to be to create the little droplets on the windows. Um, those are little, you know, maybe snowflakes that have started to melt from the heat um, inside the home, you know, that's on the glass. So you're going to take the tiny detail brush and just with Mars Black, you're going to make 
tiny dots every once in a while and maybe little C shape things and if you can see right here I'm doing a drip going down uh, the center of one of the window panes um, just very little pressure and do kind of a squiggly line going down At the very bottom of the squiggly line, you're going to do kind of a C shape or a U shape to signify the end of the drip. And you'll see I'm doing little um, circles and C's just with the very tip using only Mars Black. We will add highlights in a bit, but this is just, you know, little drips every once in a while. And if you want the, um, the drip line going down, as I did again here, um, you can do that as many times as you want. Okay, so we missed a chunk of the video again. So what you're going to do to finish your water droplets is rinse all the black out of your little detail brush and then kind of dot in them with the, um, the white, just titanium white. To do the drips going down, you're going to follow the wavy line just with the titanium white to the right side, kind of touching the black. I will do a more in-depth tutorial on that for the next video on how to do that. Um, I do apologize that that was missed out on this video. So now what I'm doing in here is I'm taking um, the round brush again. You can use your angle brush. Um, I may have switched it up here. And you're going to mix the titanium white with quite a bit of glazing liquid and you're just going to go along the edge um, where the frame meets the glass and add a highlight as in where the light would be coming in through the window. This does not have to be perfect. Um, just blend it, blend it down and across and you'll also do this on the thinner wood in the center of the window. Okay, and as you go through here, if you have um, made too much of a highlight or messed up a line, you can go back in as I'm doing here with the Mars Black and just go back over it and clean up those lines. Your last step, once all your lines are cleaned up, is of course to sign your name. I did not get that on video. And if you've taped your canvas down like I have, at that point you can remove the tape. 